yesterday we were all out in the sun a little bit too much, so today Voodoo has got his little shirt on to kind of some because he likes to stay out in the cockpit a lot, especially if Sean's out in the water. And yesterday Sean was out in the water, so I was out on the deck as well, so you know what that means. It means I got burnt too. Meh. I'm pretty red on the chest and right there. That hip line. Ouchie. It's pretty red. So I'll be staying out of the sun today too. He's not the only one who's on uh, limited sun exposure. Yeah, me and him. Meh. This man cracks me up. Sean has made friends with the neighbors that are like Airbnb rentals, so they've only been here a day. And they're just both chilling in their boats, just hanging out, talking, who knows about what. This man is like the friendliest and the meanest person I know <laughs> in the world. On the menu for dinner is going to be fresh caught crab meat and lobster. So that means we have to go catch the lobster and the crab. Time to go. It's so calm right now that we're really not like even floating away. We're just chilling in this one spot. It's perfect. Oh, he's so big. I'm almost scared. Ah, the other dude's scared of him. He ran. <laughs> yeah, that's more that than big enough. juicy right. and ripe. Right. I'm to flatten him out. So there's one claw can't get me. I'm pull this back away. Let go. Oh no. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Oh, sorry. Ugh, let go. There we go. <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're gonna hunt that one day, huh? That's a good boy. Get a good sniff. I'm gonna teach you how to hunt lobster. Oh yeah, he's already on. Good boy. That's lobster. Lobster, huh? Lobster. <laughs> good boy. And that is a dinner. We've got stone crab claws, fresh lobster, some couscous, a salad, and some maitre d' butter to dip all the goodiness in. So Sean believes that he can get him and Voodoo on this kayak and kayak around with him without going overboard. I don't think that's the case, so I'm recording this. Because <laughs> at the least it should be entertaining. <laughs> Let's go, Mussie. Oh my goodness, look at you! Oh my gosh, look at him though! Poor thing! I'm not a good kayaker, it's just, I just can see that this kayak is large enough. Y'all are going overboard, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at you and your moose. Like, I don't even know if I got the paddle right. Nope. Oh my. This is his first time in a kayak, he's so calm. He's not even that calm in the car. He hates car rides. But he likes his boat rides and his kayak rides. He's just chilling. As long as he's with Sean, he's just chilling. Daddy Mojo! He's a happy You're going paddleboarding. If Voodoo can go on the kayak, you can do the paddleboard. I already know he can. Because he really hates the water. So I've already put him on boogie boards and I know he won't fall overboard if he can help it. He's a concerned pup right now. I know. He's hiding between my legs. That's how I know he's worried. That's where he goes when he's scared. As the windy winter weather began to disappear, we were treated to radiant full moons and several meteor showers. Not only were we about to achieve our goal of sailing gone with the wind through beautiful waters, but we were about to make some really cool new friends too. Yeah. As we were out picking up the crab traps the other day, we kind of noticed a pink boat around. And um, something clicked a little bit later on that that was Aubrey with Go See Sailing. So Sean stopped by earlier and they invited us over for some sundowners. So we are heading over to go meet uh, Miss Bianca and Miss Aubrey and uh, I think Mr. Searle. Um, so yay, some new friends. Yeah. Let's go. We spent the evening enjoying sundowners while talking about sailing, boat life, and YouTube, of course. Bianca and Sean even played some guitar together. We were excited to share some adventures with Aubrey and her crew, but everyone's plans were about to change. 
Usually it's a hurricane that forces tourism to shut down, but this time it's the coronavirus and a county-imposed quarantine. Our public fashion might have changed, but we still had a few errands to run. There we go. That is Blackwood Boat Ramp. It's officially closed now, so I don't know what the liverboards are going to do. Huh? This is the big basin that is usually packed with boats. It was actually packed with boats like a week ago, my huh, baby. And now, because of the coronavirus, I guess everybody went home. And everybody went home. Yeah, the other half are kind of sank. They have officially shut down the keys. They are blocking off the main highway, the overseas highway. So if you don't have proof of residency in the keys or working in the keys, you can't come down. We have a special delivery. Yeah, yeah. Visitor. Hello. You got what I need, bro. I got you, bro, right here, man. I got you. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. We'll drop the goods. Uh-oh. Look at that. Some hand sanitizer. Yes. Nice. He's making it at a brewery. Sweet. There they go. Social distancing. We headed to shore. Nice hitching a ride. Well, while we're leaving the Florida Keys, there is the checkpoint into the Florida Keys. We will be. Oof. Oh, that's not bad. This is the line to head into Costco. It's moving a little bit though, but it's literally wrapped around the store and in through the front entrance. We'll see how long it takes to get through. Roll window down. Have driver's license ready. Have documents ready. Hello. Hey, All right, drive safe. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it. We're officially back in the Keys. We made it back. Yeah, we made it back and this time we're not leaving. Alright, so since we're attached to the mooring, Sean had to go out and actually unattach us. I guess he can't get it pulled. I'm looking for him. So I'm gonna go pick it back. Okay. I say so. Okay. I don't like this. He's in the water. Realize I can't see you at all in the water. through the channel we are leaving little basin that's where we were you kind of see our path we shook up the jellyfish a little bit along the way um yeah so we're on the move it's quiet so nice so we are gonna go out to the bigger basin in order to prepare to sail um, we don't want to be here in the little basin because we'll get caught possibly at low tide not be able to leave when we want so we're going to the deeper water and we're actually going to go find an anchorage near um, Miss Aubrey and Miss Bianca. Great. We left the little basin. Now we're in the big basin. What do you think, Voodoo? He likes it. Uh, he just likes he's not locked below. Anywhere you go, that dog will go. So, Sean calls this the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. There's one, two, three, four, five sunken boats uh six if you count way out there yeah you don't want to end up in this corner no bueno that's why we went way out there instead <laughs> as anchorage is known for dragging there's miss lone star and there's big easy sailing mommy moose come on big boy That's his spot. Just like that, I was gonna say. He props his head up right over the cockpit and just stares up. That's what he likes to do. 
There he goes. <laughs> That's Boo. He's waiting for Sean to return. Yesterday we left the little basin and we came out to the larger side over here where I think you can see behind me that it's much more open. Um, the water is deeper so we don't have to worry about tides. We are doing our last little bit of gathering, water, fuel, stuff like that. Gasoline, you know, for the generator and for the dinghy. Um, got all my provisions already ready to go. Everything is clean and we are getting ready to sail away. Uh, yeah, kind of excited about that. Last night was a little rough out here. It was kind of choppy and it was actually the first night that um, I really experienced seasickness, which made Sean a little scared because he's always been counting on me to be the one that doesn't get sick. And last night I had just straight dizziness, like crazy. Like I was just hyperstatic, maybe like vertigo. Um, felt like my eyes were, meh, each one was going in a different way and I couldn't see straight basically. And uh, that happened for a little while. And then I finally decided, well, you know what? Maybe let me try to lay down. And the second I laid down, I got totally nauseous, jumped up, and then bleh, there went dinner. And after that, I felt better, and I laid down and went to bed. <laughs> Somebody's excited. I told you he was coming you back. Song, He's singing all right. You gonna go see him? You be careful. Oh, you stay good boy. Easy. All right. Sean's back. It's our last trip to land. Stop. Oh, it's okay, good boy. Got dolphins off the starboard bow. Oh, they're playing or hunting. Dolphins are good luck. I know, huh? And we're just about to sail. Oh, they're cutting up. We got everything ready and prepared. The sails are attached. Uh, main sail is up, head sail is up. And we were just about to get ready to sail away for our first time with our new sails. And then this little mm, kind of snuck in on us. And it's the tail end of it kind of looks like it might follow us and chase us a little bit down to our anchorage that I chose. I really don't want to push it. I'm just kind of being a little nervous. And so I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I don't really want to also pull up and try to have to anchor and everything as it's kind of getting down, kind of racing, um, you know, against the sun. So we're going to push it off. We're going to relax for the night. We're going to take it easy. Everything's ready to go in the morning. And we're just going to start again all over first thing tomorrow morning. And we'll get out of here and we'll start sailing. We don't want our first sail to have to be some hectic experience where I'm out there trying to anchor and we're getting beat with rain and wind and sails flying all over the place. Yeah. So we'll just chill. The weather uh, forecast and the little storm radar just shows it a little too close touching the whole time. So I don't really trust them all that much. So we're going to hold off till tomorrow when there's not really supposed to be the squall that came out of nowhere. Oh well. Say la vie. That's the nasty little weather that was coming. So we've been, the wind's been kind of coming out of all directions too. Poor Voodoo's scared. It's okay, good boy. Go on, good boy. Good boy. So, kind of glad we decided not to try to race that. I would be super anxious. Even more than I already am. Everybody's facing the wrong way in the wind. Where the wind is supposed to be? What? The wheel is off. Okay. Wheel is on. Everybody else is facing a different way. This is not cool.
we're not supposed to be. This is not cool. We came out of nowhere. We should have left. Um, okay. That was intense. I, yeah, I look a hot mess and I rightfully should. Um, let me show you where we're at now. We're not where we were just a moment ago, right before we were about to leave. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's us. Look at our new anchor. Hold on, let me show you. That's right. So we had an issue big time with dragging. Big time. We were sideways. Miss Lone Star was sideways. We are now using this boat as an anchor. We have two lines attached because um, that's one mighty heavy anchor. We're not dragging anymore. Um, yeah, so let's see. That boat there, we were way out over here. And then we went all the way over here, ding, 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 played around, went sideways, sideways, made it all the way back to where, see the pink boat? That's Miss Lone Star. They were by us over there. Now they're way back here. We were back by them, did a U-turn, went that way, went that way, and then ended up way back over here. Um, those winds just came out of nowhere. That was that nasty little squall I was worried about for sailing. It came and smacked the crap out of us. Um, that man right there is a lot braver than me. <laughs> he kept it together without panicking. And um, yeah, he did that. Kudos to Sean, cause I was freaking, not joking. This is one of those moments where you want to quit, but you don't have the option of quitting. We were going full throttle for like an hour just dodging yeah. boats. Yeah, it was Getting over an hour. And we went into default mode, into limp mode, to where no gas. I didn't have yeah. enough throttle to fight anymore. And I finally got the anchor up. So we got as far out as we could, and then... We I got sideways again. Anchor, yeah. Just, you're not even supposed to anchor here. This place is stupid. It's not for anchoring. It's for mooring. Uh, like everyone's on mooring. Well, so, guess what? Uh, anyway, Look at our mooring. This guy, it was like, you know. You get one chance to lasso. Uh, with the lasso, oh. I'm like, come on, Sean. Boom, got it first try. Otherwise, we'd be right there in those mangroves. Yeah, we would have kept just going backwards into the mangroves. That is so crazy. We're not the only ones that got into some trouble. That is a tow boat out there towing a sailboat. We are now we're safe. We made it. There we go. We made it through with the assistance of Searle from Sailing Miss Lone Star. He came out in his dinghy and they pulled us away. Oh yeah, we were way back there. That was that derelict boat we were attached to. So now we are back in the safe zone. Um, yeah, that was insane. Thanks for watching Big Easy Sailing. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll never miss an episode. A huge thank you to our crew members. Y'all keep these videos rolling. And if you'd like to join our crew and get some Big Easy Sailing swag, click the Patreon link to join. You can always keep current with our adventures on Instagram and Facebook, too. We hope you've enjoyed our video and keep watching as we finally are ready to sail. Thanks, y'all. Nice job, you. You're lucky. Lucky, lucky. You got a warning.